What's up, good people? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Isaac Insights. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Bado tuko na moi venya mambia kwa hiyo video ingine. Kuna nyumba ingine maali ya na alianza. Inaendelea. Na tumekuja to the main aim of this video ni kuambia watu, hey, nyumba unezaanza ata kama ukwana pesa kidogo na ukwe unajenga pole pole. And we are always flexible on that. Moyes will be introduced. Ah, upon Ukweli, Bado Jina ni Ernest Moy. Hmm. Ah, vile ni mamba ya kuile clip ya kuanza. Mamba tuta wanyesha foundation ingine ambayo tena ni lianza. Hmm. Bado imesimama lakini ya manishi kwa mba ni mefika mwisho. Hmm. Kila ya ni Bado na jipanga. Hmm. Na ataendelea tena ifika kama hile. Hmm. So, hapa. Juni majirani tu baitabu. Juni majirani. Hmm. In fact, ni mandugu tu. Hmm. So, hapa tuko tuku encourage watu. Hmm. Mamba wa sichukulia jambo raisi kuwa zito sana. Hmm. Mabana. Kapisa. Una anda muendo na kile kidogo kwa nacho. Hmm. Wakati unaendelea. Hmm. Yo milangwa zinavidi kufunguka. Kapisa. Ya. Yeah. So hapa wali likuwa na walezea, mm. hii ni foundation ingine. Hii ni foundation ilisha anza. Ilisha anza. Mm. Na bado haijaisha. Haijaisha inaendelea. Kulingana sasa mingi nikuwa na plan, itaonyesha mm. watu, hile mm. ni magawa isi rooms. Mm. Mm. Haya, tu, tuonyesha. Naona materio likapa, kilanda napata pesa kidogo. Yeah, ana, ana Ananua mchanga, mchanga ndiyo hii analeta. Kidogo analeta kokoto. Mambo ni pole pole tu, michanga kama hii nelifutano. Sasa weo unachukua hiyo, niliona comment mtu wamesema, hii si maneno yangu, hii ni comment nilisoma. Mtu walisema maali, hiyo pesa watu wanakunyo na hiyo pombe na irobi, hii <laughs> naeza nunua mchanga. Hii ni, hata by the way, this one is that 500 if I'm not wrong. Na fai kweta hii ya yezi fika 5,000. So tuonyeshe hii foundation, tuonyeshe plan, tuonyeshe hile kitu munaendelea kufanya. Hapa, mm. ilingana na plani ya hii nyumba, mm -hmm. hii ni varanda. Hii varanda itakuwa hapa. Hii yote hizi ni mm. varanda. Ok. Na pia ni closed. Kumbuko ni closed. Oh, closed, closed yeah. varanda. So hapa, mm. hapa ndi kutakuwa na mlangu. Oh, mlangu wa hii nyumba itakuwa oh, hapa. hapa. Mm -hmm. So, kinge hivu kwa varanda, mm. kuna mlangu tena hapa directly opposite. Yeah. Kuingia sitting room. Yeah. Room. So sitting room ndio hii. Hii ni nyumba tu ndogo tamu. Okay, just a simple. Mm. Alafu hapa kutakuwa na dirisha. Mm. Kwa sitting room kutakuwa na dirisha kubwa. Mm -hmm. Ya kuchukua light. Kutoka hapa kwa veranda. Alafu kia hapa kutakuwa na dirisha nyingine. Mm -hmm. Kutoka light huku. Mm. Mm. So kutoka kwa sitting. Mm. Hapa. Hii, <laughs> hii ni free space. Free space. Uh, free ama, space. Ama ile waluya wanaita corridor. corridor. In a way. Yes. Mm. In a, it, it, itakupa access. Mm. Kuhiyo kwa master bedroom. So master ya hii plan iko hapa. Hii hapa. Mm -hmm. Drisha yake kubwa itakuwa hapo. Drisha itakuwa hapo. Alako hapa. Mm. Hii ni, hii ni washroom yake. Washroom. Yes. Ok. Master. Uh -huh. Alako hapa. Mm. Hapa kuna washroom. Mm. Ya... Because here is master bedroom. Here mm. is bedroom in the house. Mm. Yes, our daughter is coming. So, who you? Who you? Is the bedroom that is always the queen suite? Yes. Okay. So, by the half. Hmm. Half up here. Hmm. We have access to the queen suite. Hmm. Queen bedroom. Hmm. Yeah. So, Mlango is coming up. Mlango is coming. 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 Mlango Kukia bada hapa kwa sitting, mm. kuna mlangu hapa ya kuhia kwa kitchen. Kitchen? Yeah. So hii itakuwa kitchen? Hii ni kitchen. Ok. Mm. Ni kitchen. Mm. By the way, anyone can build this house. Kwa sababu unaona, unaona si, si kubwa na si ndogo because you can imagine ni kona two bedroom. Kila bedroom itakuwa na choe yake. Then ni kona sitting hapo. Sitting, hii sitting ni which size please? Unajua sometimes... Mm. Uwe tunambia watu this measurement by this na wata wajui, but now with this muta na zaona, hey, hii sitting ina nitosha. Hii sitting room, mm. 15 mm. by 12. 15 by 12. 15 by 12. Kubwa. That is in feet. 15 hey. feet by 12 mm. feet. Mm. Yon sitting room. Mm. So hapa kwa kitchen, mm. kuna, kuna kapatition katakuwa hapa hivi. Mm -hmm. 
alafu kataingia hivi mm. hapa ni store oh kuna store partition ya, ya store ya yes. kitchen yes. kwa 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 kiluya wao wanaita pantry yes eh. so hapa mm. utakuwa na mlango ya kuingia kwa store okay then baada ya hii partition mm. kuna exit door exit door itakuwa hapa oh mlango ya nyuma itakuwa yeah, hapa jikoni mm. si lazima urudi na fitting ndio utoke hivi hapa okay unapotokea hapa mm. so let me sasa okay. maybe before uendelee hii nyumba eh, ni what by what in terms of fit Nayo, because that's one of the essential questions. Hii nayo mm. ilipima 28 feet mm -hmm. by 25 feet. 28 by 25. 25. Okay. Yes. Na hii nyumba wewe ndio unajenga. Mm. Itachukua eh, itachukua nini wanaita aje? Bricks. Bricks how many bricks? Around 5000 tu hapo. Oh pia around 5000 kama ile ingine. Yeah, na sikubu. na mchanga mchanga mm. same like 28 tons 28 tons yes. hizo ni tipa mbili za 14 kujenga wall plate eh. okay na kokoto by the way huko pia tujasema kokoto na mchanga ilitumika huko mchanga okay. ilitumika huko ni ngapi kwa sababu najua yule ameona huko ndio anaona huko kama hajaona aenda aone hiyo video nimeweka before this one iko nayo na hiyo ndio nilikuwa na advice mm. kama watakuwa na maswali kama hayo mm. naweza wajibu kwa comments because unajua quotation nimeandika eh kabisa so itakuwa ngumu ku because tangu nitoke hapa nimefanya kazi nyingi eh sitaki ni wadanganye eh. so hiyo hesabu iko na mm. iko in written okay so wakati wa comments mm. tunajibu pale tunawajibu. lakini hii simiti approximately pia 50 bags zitamaliza lakini hiyo mm. kama if hii foundation ijakorogwa ukiega hata huyu mm. hata huyu pia alisema mm. ataki kuporoga foundation slab, eh, slab kwanza yes. mm. so huyu pia tutajenga foundation nyumba ikifika foundation level ikishaisha mm. tunatandika karatasi mm. then tunainua mm. same vile vile tulifanya kuni hiyo eh. ndio tutafanya tena hapa lakini sasa tuambie watu ndio nyumba yako ifike hapo kama umekoroga na foundation foundation ni around 30 bags ama ni korong tatu ni mingi okay but now let's just give them eight, a total of 8 bags so that hata ile yenye inabaki ni azafanya plaster mahali pengine mimi huwa nasema when you are giving client ni lazima uangalie mbele ujue aya eh, this number inaweza fanya hii kazi na ukimuongezea pia umempatia nguvu mahali anaanza kujishikia kwa sababu mimi huwa naambia watu nyumba yako nyumba ya matofali 3 bedroom kama ni kubwa E, kama ni kubwa inaweza chukua ndio ishe kabisa inaweza chukua 3 million and something but ndio usaidie mtu unamwambia 4 million ndio hata ikichukua 2.8 hata ikichukua 2.5 hiyo pesa ujapatia Isaac yeah, ni yako unaanzia pale maisha unaanza kununua viti unaanza kununua mkate watoto wakule kule <laughs> hey. So, yeah. Mr. Isaac nilikuwa nasema mm. the reason why na advice clients kutumia kama anatumia bricks atumie zile zimeiva vizuri zimeiva vizuri wakati mtu anaanza project mm. ukifika mahali ukiishiwa pesa mm. kama umetumia bricks zenye hazijaiva mm. by the way hizi zingekuwa zinaharibika so, unaona hata hii foundation Mm. foundation iko strong na ujenga last year hii foundation yes nimejenga last year okay so kama zingekuwa zikushika moto vizuri mm zingekuwa zinaharibika mm that's why i insist on bricks zenye zimeiva na sisi hiyo ndio kazi yetu mimi siseme kwa ubaya lakini ukituita ukitaka kununua hata hizo bricks na utuite tunakusaidia kukwambia hizo zimeiva na hizo hazijaiva however atafi huwa tunachaji allowance ya ile siku tumechukua time yetu kukuja site yako kuangalia nini ndio pia unajua unaweza fika mahali uchukue fundi mwingine na sisi ulikuwa umetuestia whole day na utupatie kazi so we always charge unatulipia fare and then unaweka allowance allowance juu kuna swali mm. client aliniuliza mm -hmm. nikamwadvise na ningependa pia mm. advice wa subscribers. Yeah, songea huku kwamba mm. alikuwa anataka baada ya foundation mm. ainue nyumba na ina locking blocks. Okay. Lakini nikamwadvise nikamwambia mm. ina locking blocks upande wangu mimi sio ni kama iko na inafanya kazi nzuri. Mm. Because pia imepigwa kama bricks ndio mm. lakini haina that strength kama ya block yenye imechomwa haijachomwa very true kama brick yenye haijachomwa haiwezi haiwezi 
kufanya kazi vile blocks zimefanya kwa sababu mm. ingekuwa ni hizo mm. zimenyeshewa vile hii hizi bricks zimenyeshewa ingekuwa matope zimekuwa zimeshakuwa zote matope mm. so interlocking blocks ukianza nazo kazi mm-hmm. zinamaanisha hiyo kazi itaenda one way mm. mpaka ufunike nyumba mm. na upige plaster immediately, plasta immediately. ili mvua ikinyesha si mm. affect zinakuwa very much affected na mvua mm. e, sio sio za kistaimili kama blocks so tuambie tu watu wetu sisi mm. kama unatoka western unatoka rift valley unatoka pale mahali mvua inanyesha mm. however much watu enda, enda, sisi tu, si unajua kujenga na interlocking blocks unajua, yes. unajua. Mm. lakini tunaambia watu for your own safety tutumie tu hiki tu sisi tunajua yes. tunajua bricks zimekuwa zikijenga from early 90s mm na tumejua pia mawe inajenga kwa sababu tunaona kazi yake and we know its strength na kila kitu. Hii matope sorry, hii interlocking blocks, hii interlocking blocks ni mzuri it's uh, we will be told that it's cheaper but at the end of the day cheap is expensive. Eh. Athletic as mzuri. Kama vile mawe ingefanya kama bricks ingefanya. Eh. So, so unaona hasa huyu kama angekuwa amezijengea hizi mm. zingekuwa kila kitu iko chini na tungerudi kuanza upya na zingekuwa zinampatia pressure ya lazima umalize nyumba so lakini hapa hana haraka because mm. wakati atafuta pressure tukiendelea mm. tutaanzia pale tuliachia na nimefurahia kwa sababu naona amejipanga ma, matofali ndio yeye ameleta so, unaona hajafunika hajafunika kwa sababu ziliiva zili ziweza haribika haya pia unaona hapa hii ni hardcore Sindio? Huyu ni klanda anajipanga pole pole. Mchanga iko hapo, mchanga nimeonyesha hata tukianza, mchanga ndio yeye ameleta. Na iko na kokoto hapo pia. Unanunua material livo pole pole na pia usinunue tu material ukiweka. Kama uko na kitu unatuambia Isaac na Moi nataka mnifanyie kazi. Tunakuja site tunakusaidia kazi yako inaanza. Mali pesa inaishia na mimi nimewaambia na mimi nimewaambia kuna mtu anauliza siyo itakuwa expensive. Mimi nimewaambia si expensive, si expensive kwa nini? Kwa sababu mimi huwa nafanya hii kazi ya ku advise client huwa unaniuliza swali yote sa mjengo yako inaendelea Isaac nimefika this step what do i do huyu fundi wangu anasema hivi unaona aje but pia mimi huwa na charge a small fee yenye nakuambia na ukishanilipa hiyo fee unakuwa sasa umeni on na kuwa kukuambia haya unataka kufanya foundation eh ongea na fundi uone labor atakwambia ngapi kwa ile pesa mlikubaliana so kama mlikubaliana tuseme 120000 na client ana wewe unataka kufanya foundation peke yake mimi nitakwambia in that 120000 patia client eh, this this amount Ndi, eh, patia fundi i mean patia fundi this amount ndio na wewe ikusaidie kama wewe u, upate si atumelipa fundi pesa yote na ujamaliza nyumba yako. So hapo ndio uzuri wangu unaingilia na mjengo wengine yote huwa nafanya hivyo. So if you will contact me as will contact Moi. My number is 0790932878. But mimi silazimishi mtu kwa sababu my aim is not money but my aim is just helping to advise kila mtu ajenge nimekuja kuwaonyesha hii mjengo hapa so that someone can learn ile kidogo uko nayo unaanza mjengo yako na uendelee pole pole mpaka ile siku utamaliza so moi mambo yako ya mwisho maybe tukifunga hii video hani kuwashukuru tu mm. na kuambia subscribers wetu kwamba waendelee kutufuatilia mm. waendelee kutupa kazi mm. waendelee hata kutuomba ushauri tutawapa kabisa eh, kama kama kawaida namba ni 072924 mm. 20 70. Kufikia hapo mimi siongezi kitu. Niseme asanteni sana. Thank you for your support. Mungu awabariki.